we're so distracted digitally that we've lost the ability to just be with ourselves. Yeah. Uh, I grew up, I'm 60 years old, so I grew mm. up with no cell phone, with no internet, with right. no email, with no texting, with no social media. And it wasn't until I was, you know, God, it was like in my 40s that really it started to come on. And, right. And I, uh, and I remember those times of just savoring, of just being, of reflecting, mm. of wandering, of walking. And um, it's necessary. It's, and I, you know, I, you know, really been focusing more and more on like leaving my phone at home yeah. and not bringing it. And with my wife, for example, you know, I, I gave her a present, which was a little box in the, and she's like, Oh, it's such a nice box. I'm like, no, no, no. I, I, I put my phone in the box and leave it there for the weekend. <laughs> right. And you get the gift of my presence, you know, that's beautiful. And that's what, and she started crying and, you know, I'm not always good at it, but, um, I, I've, I've realized that, that, uh, you know, I thought I did it for her. Yeah. And when I had that weekend to myself, I just was able to lay on the floor and listen to jazz and play with the cats and not have to look at my phone every totally. three seconds, you know? Yeah. It's, it's such a, it's, it's such a horrible habit that takes us away from the, the spaciousness from the spaciousness of needing to be able to actually connect with ourselves. So, and also it's like, where does creativity come from? If not empty space, mm -hmm. you know, infinite possibilities is empty space. So that's why people practice through meditation. And my meditation practice has been, you know, a non-negotiable part of my life, but that's one avenue to finding that space. <laughs>